Hi everybody, welcome to the Chitra's World of Science. Today I am going to show you a hands-on activity on phases of moon. As you know very well that moon rises near the east and sets near the west. Moon is not having its own light. Its surface reflects the sunlight and in this way we are observing the different phases of the moon. Here I am going to show you how the phases of the moon occurs. Because you can't see anything here, it is dark, it means it's a new moon. Then we, then I am going to show you a very small part that is known as waxing crescent. The third phase is, the next phase is, this is well known as first quarter. This is known as first quarter. Half uh, D portion, half illuminated, half dark. Then waxing gibbous. In waxing gibbous phase, you can see a very less dark part and other part is very well illuminated. Then the next portion, sorry, the next phase which we can see is full moon. Here the illuminated part of the moon we can see very well. Next reverse order also occurs when moon rises from east. Here I am going to show you how this how these phases occurs or how these phases looks. Here you can see this is full moon. Then next portion, next phase is, this is well known as waning gibbous. Waning gibbous portion, here the dark portion is very less while the eliminated part is much more. Then next one is, this is well known as third quarter. And again, we will see a very small illuminated part that is well known as waning crescent. And the next one is, again, you can't see anything. It means it's a new moon. So, it's a very, uh, very simple and it is very much... Uh, helpful for the students to understand the phases of the moon. Thanks for the watching. If you like it, then please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.